Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another channel. So catch we like it. And my United Dice on the channel for United and football fans all over the world. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. How are you? Happy New Year to everyone who has not been said hello to, if I haven't said hello to you. Right. Let's get right into it. There's breaking news. We have so much news to talk about. First and foremost, there is a power struggle. Today, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. But while you're watching, smash a like on that video. Drop your comments and don't forget to subscribe. Sir Jim Ratcliffe came to see his investment today. He had the time to go to the old, to old Trafford. He met the, the staff, the training staff, and met the players. And he met the one and only Eric Ten Hag. But Eric Ten Hag is in a situation when I mean there's a power struggle. He was, the contract every Ten Hag signed, he's going to be in charge of recruitment, signing of players, and has the final say. But Ineos are coming with a different philosophy and a different ethos to say, no, we are going to get Braz, uh, Bra uh, uh, Ashford from Newcastle. We're going to get Mitchell. They will decide the kind of player that Eric Ten Hag will fit into Eric Ten Hag's style of play. If they agree and he agrees, then we get the player. Eric Ten Hag's days of saying, I want this player, we're going to get this player, and he's all I want, are over. It's either he takes that or leave it. So, there's a difference between a coach and a manager. If he's just going to be a coach, he's just going to be coaching the players, and that's all he does. He has no signing he has nothing in, in he has no control over signings. Just like Pochettino is. He's just a coach. He's not in charge of no signings. He makes no just like Graham Potter was at Chelsea. Just a coach. You had no say in the players of who they sign, who you want. You're just supposed to coach. Every Ten Hag will fight tooth and nail to keep that power he has. But can he fight against Ineos powers, which is like, we are going to change the structure of United, Manchester United. We will decide. We'll bring in Ashworth. We'll bring in Mitchell. They'll decide what players will fit your philosophy. And you will tell us the point out the players you want. We will look if they fit into that DNA and we will all agree. But the decisions of the days of you having that so-called soul decision are over mate if you don't like it goodbye good night on your bike but if Terry Hag, if Eric Ten Hag is smart if his results were good he would have a leg to stand on but because of the players he's bought who have underperformed and have literally been a bunch of total flops oh no no eh, jury's still out Anthony ugh. jury's literally out saying ugh. Makes him out. Ugh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck went on there? Martinez, yay! Val Malaysia, yay! Vejos, what the fuck? Amrabat, mm. So, that power struggle is going to come to play. It's going to be Eric Ten Hag. It's my way or the highway. I will have a say in who I want, what players I have identified who will play my football. But would you still trust him with this money? Would you still trust this manager with money? After what he's brought to the club and still no style of play, no direction, nothing, just going around like headless chicken? Would you still do that? I, if I own the club, not really, mate. Not really. I won't do that. So, if Ineos are going to come with this way, and Eric Ten Hag says, I'm here, and you're here, and I'm not moving here, I'm staying right here, then there seems to be an absolute problem. There's going to be a power struggle. Then, throwing into the mix, from what ESPN are saying, is that is. Uh, Graham Potter has been mentioned a couple of times as the man to take over from um, Eric Ten Hag. Honestly, personally, I think that would be a backward step. Graham Potter is, Brown, uh, is Brighton level. He's not even Chelsea level. If you can't handle Chelsea, do you think you could handle the biggest club in the world? Those players won't even listen to you, mate. They would not listen to you at all, mate. 
They said his tactics at uh, Chelsea were so embarrassing that players sometimes just like, what is this clown actually doing, mate? That his tactics, his training methods were so outdated that the players like at Chelsea were like, what the fuck are we doing here? If he could not control the Chelsea players, how the fuck is he going to control the Man United players who have sacked one, two, three, four, five managers and trying to sack a sixth manager? And you want to go there and think you can handle Man United? Mate, dreams are free, but this is an absolute recipe for disaster, mate. Absolute recipe for disaster. Because I'll say this to you, mate. Graham Potter is not the way, he's not the man, and he's not the solution to United's problems. He doesn't know what it takes, he's just a jolly old English guy who thinks he could handle Manchester United. Himself and Graham, Gareth, 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 what is that, Southgate, are just not up to that kind of job. Someone even mentioned Wayne Rooney, I mean, give me a break, he's even struggling in fucking Birmingham. He's hanging on his life with, on a string of Birmingham. He can't have... This, this, this is where... I have to do the Kumbaya situation. Graham Potter cannot save United. He's not the man. He's just going to be a puppet on a string. If that's what Ineos want because he's English, they're going to put him there. He can't handle Man United. They'll eat this guy alive, mate. They'll eat this guy for breakfast. No, they won't eat him for breakfast. They'll eat him as a starter, a, an appetizer, mate. You'll be eating like bones. But the, the bottom line there is, how is Ten Hag going to handle it if they take his powers away? Will he be able to relinquish power? Will he be able to say, listen, the contract I signed, I have the final say. Ineos is like, you know, fuck that. We, this is a new contract. Sign here. Here's the dotted line. Take it or leave it, mate. Goodbye, good night on your bike or we'll bring in Potter. What happens then? So just watch this channel, watch this space, and we'll keep you posted on what is going to happen next. Jaden Sancho, we're just waiting for Fabrizio to say, His favorite word. Here we go. That's what we're waiting for. He's done. He's gone to Dortmund. I hope he stays there. I mean, we can't even sell him back. We've not even finished. Do you know we have not even finished paying the money we paid for him for two years ago? We haven't finished paying that. This club is so disorganized, mate. We paid, we chased him for two years, paid 70 million for him, offered him 350, offered him six year contract, 350,000 a week. As a right winger, he now said, no, nah, I'm going to play on the left. That alone right there was the beginning of the end. That statement, I'm not playing on the right, I'm playing on the left, was the beginning of the end. He has been a flop. Let's call it as it is. Let's stop using sentiments and emotions to make decisions. You heard it on this channel. Jaden Sancho is a flop. Now, I said it. Drop your comments. Tell me what you think. Now, with the you know, uh, on his press conference today, he said he's increased extended one year contract for one bissaka has been given an extended one year. Lindelof, <sighs> surprised at that one. Uh, 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 Hannibal extended. They're now looking into extending Veron and, and Martial. We'll see how that pans out. But um, I'm surprised that um, I'm surprised they extended Lindelof. Wow. But uh, Ineos, we're gonna see the structure in because Ineos are gonna say. What we want, because we literally own the football side of things. So this guy can tell us what we should do. We should tell him what we want to done. So there's going to be a power struggle between Ineos and Ten Hag. I could see it playing out big time, big time. And I think there's only going to be one winner. And I think someone's going to be uh, in the unemployment line, especially with the results going this way. He doesn't even have a leg to stand up because his results are absolutely abysmal, mate. Absolutely shambolic. So, that's my thing. And that's what I say. If you're not to get uh, Graham Potter, we're doomed. We are literally screwed. We are literally being fucked if we get Graham Potter as the United manager to replace A. Ten Hag. I'm sorry. Pardon my language, but this is unacceptable. Graham Potter is not even as good. I've got to that point whereby this club just gives me a headache and I, I don't want to have any more headaches. I, I'm i tired of this club. You know what I mean? You know when you just get tired? You're just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of being tired. <laughs> That's a good one. But anyway, Man United and uh, they've got FA Cup game. 
And another thing, like I said on last channel, why is Onana still here? Why is he still here? He should have been flying out to the Afghan to go and prepare properly and not all that last minute preparation that he does that. Look at this. He's already considered 48 goals. 48. You heard me. And we're only halfway in the season. <laughs> Give me a fucking break, mate. Like I said, it's a power struggle. Who wins round one? So Jim and Ineos or the main man himself, Eric Ten Hag. Is Potter going to come into the mix? Only time will tell. That's what the papers are saying. Is it just paper talk? I don't think he's the right guy for the club. If Man United ever even think of actually getting Graham Potter, he's going to be Graham, he'll be in before his Graham, it, it'll be, it, it'll be Graham Potter out before they even bring him in. I'll be, I'll be Graham Potter out before he becomes Graham Potter in. Is that bad? Yes, I should support every Man United manager, but this guy, I'm sorry, mate. I couldn't handle Chelsea. Chelsea have issues, but my United issues are trouble. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow us on all the social media platforms. We also have Spotify. You could look into our Spotify, listen to our, our shows while you are working out and while you are driving to work and going home for the day. All right, I'll see you on the next one. My United are going to try and get Potter. Ineos are going to stamp the ground. Eric Ten Hag in the blue corner. Ineos in the red corner. Who wins the tussle? I'll see you very soon. Take care. From me, it's goodbye and good night.